Hi there, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for clicking on this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Okay, what are we up to? Well, I am going to be making a diaper cake. Now, if you've never heard of that before, I'm sure that sounds kind of funny. And you might think a cake that looks like a diaper or how does that work? And where does this cardboard come into play? So because this isn't going to be actual cake on this cardboard, I'm just going to use some cardboard from the office that we have laying around. I'm just going to take it and cut it into a circle. Now it's okay that this cardboard is recycled because I'm just going to take actual diapers and roll them up so that it will look like a cake. So on the bottom of real cakes, you need a supportive base and they usually have a cardboard base on the bottom of them. So that's what I'm kind of creating here. Now, if you don't want to do this part, you can definitely buy one. I did see that they have them available at the 99 cent store. Okay, so I just taped this down so it won't bend as much. It's still going to bend, but hopefully not as much once all the diapers are on. Now comes the fun part. <laughs> this is the most tedious part because you have to roll each diaper and tape it down. I would recommend using just a regular scotch tape. Anything else might tear the diaper, so whoever you're gifting this to might have trouble taking the tape off. Um, regular scotch tape doesn't stick that well. It's, there's no problem pulling it off the diaper. I would just make sure that you use a longer piece of tape um, to wrap it more completely around the diaper so that it doesn't unroll. What I have here, by the way, are just um, pampers, newborn pampers, and this is a box of 84 diapers. And I did use all of them. Well, actually, I, I used all but one. I found one later and I just gave it to her at work the the next day or like the day after. <laughs> it's so funny how you forget how small these diapers can be and if you don't have any children, if you were to buy these little newborn diapers and pull them out of the box, they look like little baby doll diapers. They're so tiny. So now I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to keep all of those little rolled up diapers together. So what I figured out um, was just taking a piece of ribbon and tying it around. And then I just moved on to the next tier. I have the ribbon on there, um, just kind of loosely tied against it. I did end up adding more diapers to the bottom so as you can see the bottom half does start to grow and that is because I do start to kind of loosen the ribbon and add more diapers in at the bottom but it was just getting a little bit more difficult for me to balance the diapers with the tape because the tape was so not sticky <laughs> Yeah, so if you make one of these, I would definitely recommend um, tying some ribbon around it and then just loosening that ribbon as you go and adding more diapers in. That way you can really prevent using a lot of tape and, you know, prevent accidentally ripping any of these tiny little diapers. Now, if you would like, you can definitely stop here, but I would like to make a three-tiered cake. So that's what I'm doing. I'm cutting out my last little round to place on the top, and then I'm going to stack the remainder diapers right on top, doing the same thing as the other two tiers. She's getting married next month already. So I'm gonna do my best to go to her wedding. 
because that's a big one. My boyfriend and I have been invited to a wedding and it's in April. I have no idea what I'm going to wear. I have no idea how the weather is going to be, but I'm thinking I either want to wear like lavender or maybe a blue, but I don't know. If you have any suggestions, you know, you can always shoot me a link down below of a place um, to get a dress. <laughs> That's what I'd like to wear. So we'll see what happens. Now, as you can see, I am just stuffing the top tier with the little ribbon technique. And as the ribbon gets tighter, again, you can just loosen it. Or if you tighten it too tight, just cut it off. Just re-tie another ribbon around it and cut off the tighter ribbon. And um, just kind of repeat that process until you get all those little diapers in there. So my friend Cindy, she is having a baby boy and that's why I decided to use some blue ribbon. Again, you can stop here, but I just felt like the cake was just a little too white, just like plain in color, but you can definitely use green or purple, yellow, whatever color. If this is a baby girl that you're making this for, of course, you can make it with pink ribbon or purple. Now I've never made one of these before, but for this being the first time, I was pretty proud of myself. I mean, mistakes were made, but um, that's just how you learn, right? I mean, I, f I fixed my mistakes and everything came out s just smashingly. Thanks for joining me on making my very first diaper cake. And if you decide to make one, please let me know. I'm sure that whoever this is being gifted to is going to love it. My friend Cindy did. Now for some plant care. Now this little beauty, um, it's grown quite a bit. And I did a little research and saw that once your succulent has flowered, you should really cut the blooms off. So that's what I'm doing today. The reason you want to cut these off is because they will drain energy from the plant. So they're really not necessary, but I did enjoy the blooms while they lasted. Thanks for watching.